Long ago, there was emptiness. Earth and sky were not there. Neither was there moon nor sun. No light was to be seen anywhere. Darkness blanketed everything. The most merciful, almighty Allah resolved to make a place for his creations, for the entire world to be set up. All he had to say was be. Allah created the world beautiful to look upon. He designed the earth to be walked on and then raised mountains on it to keep it in its place. He made sky as a canopy on earth. He ornamented the sky with two beautiful jewels, the moon and the sun. The sun gives in the day while the moon emanates it at night, all according to his commands. Then Allah decorated the night sky with numerous stars and ordered them to glow brilliantly so that travelers may get help in finding their way at night. The sky has countless stars. Still, they are not same. Some of them are very small and some are mighty. Many glimmer lightly while others shine intensely. These beautiful stars guide the journeyers to their destinations. Then Allah separated the dry lands from seas. He spread plants all over the lands, trees, bushes, and beautiful flowers. Upon his orders, rain water nourished the plants to help them grow. And after that, Allah created a huge variety of animals. Lions, horses, cows, zebras, and elephants. Next, he made birds to the maize, eagles, peacocks, ostriches, sparrows, and night eagles. The seas were giving creatures, small and big, beautiful and bewildering. The world was stunningly gorgeous with green lands, blue skies, and seas of various shades of blue and green. The entire world was filled with his creations. The earth had animals, sky had birds, while the seas had an assortment of fish. Allah intended to make the world even more beautiful. Allah created the angels. These angels carry out each of Allah's commands without questions. They are also messengers. They convey his messages to every corner of this world. They make sure that the entire world run per Allah's orders. The winds blow where and when they are needed to. The clouds pour the rain in the right places and the rains water the plants and fill the wells and lakes. Then Allah made jinns from fire. Some of these jinns are good, while some are evil. Some of them believe in him and his powers, and some are non-believers.